Hey everybody, I'm here in the woods with Dale and we are just holding space for everybody's gratitude today. So please share. Today I'm grateful for beavers and for rivers and I'm thankful for clouds. Today I'm grateful for all the new green plants coming up. I'm grateful for when my cat comes to hang out with me when I'm in the garden. Hey y'all, I'm feeling grateful for my chickens, my chicken eggs, and I'm feeling grateful for my mom and dad. I'm feeling really grateful for fairy stories and for moss on rocks. Today I am grateful for yeasts and microbes and all the little unseen organisms that make our bread rise and make our sauerkraut sour um, and make our food so tasty. Today I give thanks to my family and good books. I'm gonna take all that gratitude and just feed it to this fire and it's gonna go out in the smoke and just spread out in the land and when the little particles of smoke um, cool off and fall down a little piece of our gratitude will be planted there. Robin, red, red, pie flying crow, not hot chopping down the tree, chickadee dee 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 dee. Oh, 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 chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee. Hey, did I hear someone do the crow call? Yeah, come on. Robin red breast high flying crow not hot chopping down the tree chickadee dee 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 oh 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 chickadee dee dee chickadee dee dee chickadee dee dee chickadee so I guess I will do the crow call yeah come on down nice <laughs> Robin, red breast, high flying crow, not hat shopping down the tree, chickadee dee 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 dee. Oh, 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 chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee. Okay, so I am at my sit spot here, and today at my sit spot. I'm going to be drawing an imaginary square all around me in all directions, in the back. So I'm in the middle of my square. And with my pen here and my paper, I brought something hard to write on. I am going to make a big list of everything that I see inside of my square. So I'll add these dried leaves. I see these ferns coming up. Uh, I have this little tree right here in my square, this really cool mushroom behind me. I am going to make a big list of everything that I see. And then I am going to circle two or three things that I don't know. For example, I don't know what kind of mushroom this is and what kind of baby tree is right here in front of me. So I'm going to circle them and when I go back inside, I am going to do a little research and figure out who they are. And then I am going to um, put a date on this list and then maybe do this every so often throughout the year and see what changes inside of my square. This little square right around my body. I bet a lot will change in the next few weeks and months. So that is my sit spot challenge for all of you. Have fun. Hi everybody. Nice to see you. For my guild today, we are going to be catching a song from the universe. And I'm going to give you nine tips about song catching. 
So tip number one is to announce to the universe that you are ready to catch a song. You can do this out loud. Universe, I'm ready to catch a song. Or quietly in your mind and heart. Tip number two, share some gratitude about something in this world that you're feeling grateful for. <gasps> like this. I am so grateful for these tiny little yellow flowers blooming first thing out of the earth, bright yellow. I'm so grateful that you're here. Tip number two, express gratitude. Tip number three, make an offering. An offering can be all sorts of things. It can be a little morsel of tasty food or something beautiful that you've made. It can even be a poem. Sometimes I even offer a song I've already made before I get ready to receive another song. So an offering, you'll find out what's, what's the best thing to do. You'll figure it out. I'm going to offer walnuts, hazelnuts, and sweet dried cherries, and also this blue stone. I'm gonna offer these things in my garden shrine. I'm about to fill this garden shrine with flowers, but I haven't done that yet. I'll just make this offering right here. Tip number four. Find a place to sit outside and just listen. Listen to the seagulls, a little bit of wind your neighbor's radio, your own breath. Just take a moment to listen. Tip number five, start singing. Just start playing around. It doesn't matter what you sing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just start playing around. Sing whatever comes to mind. Da, 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 da. Wind is moving, wind is moving through, wind is moving through me, through me. Just play around, doesn't matter what you sing. Keep playing around, keep playing around, and that will bring us to tip number six, which is to find a melody, a little a little bundle of notes, a little seed of a song that you really love, that feels really good to sing. And then sing that over and over again and then start to build the rest of your song after that little seed melody. And keep building and building and growing your song from that seed until you feel like it's finished. Until you feel like the song is complete. And then once the song is complete, tip number seven is to sing that song over and over and over again. Sing the, sing the completed song over and over and over and over again, pacing around your yard, in the shower, wherever. That is the way, singing the song over and over and over again is the way that you make a home for the song in your mind and in your body. It's really important to just sing it over and over and over again, loop it. Tip number eight, record the song. Maybe a parent can help you record it with their phone. Maybe you already have a way to record it, a little tape recorder. That would be amazing if you had one of those. Uh, if you already have a way to record it, record it, do that. But if not, get your parents' help, record the song. Trust me, you'll thank me later. And then that brings us to our final tip, tip number nine, which is after you've made the song today, you go to bed at night, you're like, oh, so pumped about that song. Fall asleep. When you wake up the next morning, Sing the song, sing the song the first thing the next morning because that is how you lock the song in so that you can remember it, maybe for the rest of your life. Okay, so those are my nine tips for catching a song from the universe. I can't wait to hear what songs came to each of you. Maybe I'll get to hear some of them on Zoom or maybe the next time we're in person. Bye. Hi, I'm Bob Moss, and welcome to my art studio, also known as Nature. We have an incredible project today, and I hope you come to join us. We're going to be making a landscape out of the landscape. You can see here I've made a tree in front of a beautiful sunset on a nice lawn. 
All you're going to need for this project is some white sturdy paper from a sketchbook, a bottle of Elmer's glue, and whatever treasures you can find in your backyard. Come on, let's get harvesting. I challenge you to find materials from at least 10 different plants. It can be tree bark that can be ground up into a fine dust, needles from a cedar or spruce tree. You can also find dead flowers and seeds from last year that are still hanging on. And if you look around your yard, you can get some grass, some dried perennials, leaves, whatever you find. When you get them, harvest them and put them into different bowls, baskets, Tupperware, whatever you have. And make sure you get more than you think you need. Start by taking your white paper and coloring in a background. You can use colored pencils like I did, watercolors, crayons, whatever. I chose to make a beautiful sunset, but you can do a clear blue sky, clouds, whatever you like. Next, crush up some plant materials nice and fine. Crumble them up, pick out all the, all the stems, and get it nice and fine. Then, to make the trunk of your tree, Take your Elmer's glue and let it reach for the sun. These happy little branches are so happy to be in your landscape. And once you get that tree just however you want it, you take up some of your dry materials and you sprinkle them on. Just sprinkle it right on. And like a squirrel burying a nut, you just tamp it in there with your paws and then you call in the winds and blow it all away. And there's your tree. Now I decided that my tree needed another happy little branch reaching up towards the sky and you can choose to make it however you want. And you sprinkle that material on there and you push it down. For this one, I use the seeds from a climbing hydrangea. Look at that tree. I think it's time for this tree to get some leaves. Nature's creative and so are you. So use whatever you got. I use coniferous needles to make deciduous leaves for my tree. <laughs> Isn't that neat? All you need to do is take a little bit of glue and then you take your leaves and you squish them right in there. The heavier the item, the more glue you want. So you just put the glue anywhere you think this tree could be have leaves and you just put them on. And before you know it, your drawing is gonna look like midsummer. Woo, I can't wait for those leaves to come. And these happy little leaves just grow wherever and before you know it, you've got a tree with a full canopy. Bring in the breeze to see who's really not stuck on there, and you can add a little bit more glue to fill out your tree just as you like. There we go. Next, I thought this landscape could use a little bit of grass. So I took some spruce needles from a Norway spruce, and you just pick the needles off a few at a time, and when you're ready, you get a nice layer of glue. The glue is kind of like the soil that you plant the grass in. Oh, and Scoochie, my dog, came to visit. And you put the glue down and you plant some grass and you press it in and you get yourself a nice lawn. Oh, look at that. I ran out of needles. Time to go visit the spruce tree and break some up. Don't worry if you run out, just get some more. It's all part of the fun. Then you take that glue and you plant the last of the grass. And that's all there is to it. You press it down, make sure it all holds firm, and here we go. A beautiful tree on a beautiful lawn in a beautiful sunset. Wow, nature sure is an inspiration, and my imagination can make anything I want. So can yours. Join us next week when we make a mossy birch glen from moss in birch bark. Until then, we'll see you in the nature. <laughs> Hello everyone. I am doing a kindness challenge right now, and my kindness challenge is to write a letter to myself. Um, to myself in the future. I'm writing about a lot of different things. I'm writing about what's going on right now in time, but I'm also giving myself advice or counsel for my future self. And I'm gonna fit into a nice little neat thing, envelope, once I finish this here. And I'm gonna fold it up and then I'm gonna write a little date on it. Say, 
letter to myself or letter to Mo. Uh, don't open until such and such a date. Um, and then I'm going to go hide it in the house somewhere where I might not find it for a year or maybe more. Um, I'm going to hide it in a book that I know I usually look at every year. And uh, it's always amazing because whenever I've done this, I usually forget that I did it. And then I find the letter and I go, oh, whoa, a letter to me. Wait a minute, from me? Oh, yeah. And then I open it up and usually I have, it's really fun. And think about it, think about it in a really kind way. You could write, you could do this letter in a way where you write about it and say, like, oh, hey, how's it going? Mo, you are looking pretty shabby today, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you could be silly about it, or you could also be like, wow, I was feeling this way today, and you're going through this right now. Um, like, you guys might say, like, oh, I'm not in school um, right now. It's very strange, but um, here's some advice of how I'm going to make it through this and feel better about it, or... You can even imagine what it's going to be like in a few years when this is all going to be kind of like a memory. Um, and give yourself advice and give yourself some kindness. Say like, oh, you did this really well today and you're always doing this really well. Sometimes I've found letters that I've written to myself that are, um, yeah, just really super kind and gave me exactly what I needed at the moment. So there's your mission if you choose to accept it. And, yeah, a time-traveling letter. So we hope you have so much fun this week in your guilds and in your sit spots, keeping the crow's path spirit alive with singing a song or two, or sharing some gratitude with family and friends, building a fire. And we look forward to hearing how your week went and seeing you next week. Bye, everybody.